there's a sub I heard about. Oh my God, my face is too punchable right now. <laughs> the problem with discovering music on Spotify or TikTok is a lot of times they make you feel like you found some hidden gem. Like I'll be listening to a Spotify radio for one of my playlists or artists and a song will come on and I'll be like, wow, like, how did I never find this before? It's like my little secret. But turns out it's millions of other people's little secret that they discovered as well. And not that there's anything wrong with listening to the same stuff that everyone else is. I'm not here to be like, oh, you have to be hipster about your music taste. But if you're tired of finding all your music through an algorithm, you know, it ends up having the sameness to it. Uh, you want some organic farm to table. <laughs> releases i got you covered as a music snob here are 10 ways that i discover new music without spotify tiktok any tech company really in between me and the artist i'm gonna save one of the best ones for last uh please don't fast forward though because i'll mess up my youtube analytics i'll start y'all off with a deep cut find who produced the songs that you like and then go find other songs that they produced. Especially in rap, which is my main genre. I feel like these days, producers do a bigger role in shaping the vibe and the overall quality of a song than the artist themselves. Like, I'll listen to anything that Pierre Bourne produces. Just straight up. Especially because you can look up the song credits inside the streaming platform these days. It's just a lot easier than before. Along the same lines, and this one's a little more obvious, look at who your favorite artists collaborate with. Not just who features on their projects, but who are they going out to do features for? I mean, <laughs> you'll have some artists that just feature indiscriminately and, you know, are, are very obviously trying to get a bag. But for a lot of artists, they'll only do a feature with someone if they really F with the other artist. So check out the other artists, you know, I mean, you can look at their top songs. I, I, that's not how I like to listen to music because an artist's top songs will typically just be the most mainstream stuff. I try to find out what fans recommend is their like top album. But yeah, up to you. On a similar vibe, uh, at least on Spotify, a lot of artists create playlists of their own, you know, that are public. I even follow the boy Chow Main on Spotify and I'll just see him in my friend activity tab. You know, just bumping some some of that Bay Area music. <laughs> Great way to find hidden gems because artists aren't really listening to that top 40 stuff as much as the general public. So you're a lot more likely to find artists that are kind of like your favorite artists, favorite artists types. On the other side of the table, you could keep up with a particular critic or publication. I know a lot of people follow Anthony Fantano. I mean, I do too. You could read Pitchfork. You could have a favorite New York Times pop music critic, or it could even be on like TikTok, right? Or I don't know if people review music on Instagram, but actually I do on my IG story whenever something comes out. So you might find a Reddit community for a genre that you like and discover music that way. There's a sub I heard about called the Diaspora for sharing music from artists in the Asian Diaspora. Here they have some pretty cool mods. Sometimes I'll even listen to the smaller artists that get posted on hip hop heads. It's a cool way to see what's out there because a lot of that stuff I would have never found ever on my own. Reddit's already kind of old school, but taking it even more old school, uh, there's a website called Rate Your Music where people write old fashioned like IMDB reviews of albums. You know, it's pretty cool uh, to find a community like that thriving <laughs> after all these years. Back when I did reaction videos, I would use this website to check out stuff that was coming out or had just come out. What I like about it is that it doesn't have like hearts, likes, any of that BS to bias you towards which records are worthy of attention. It's just, you see the artwork, you see the artist, and if that intrigues you, then check it out. It's like a physical version of a record store, which is the next place I would recommend for all the same reasons, but uh, also you get that, I don't know if everyone likes the record store smell. I like like in very small doses. Plus with a record store, you know, there's a possibility of a meet cute, you know, like you're in an indie movie or something. <laughs> you know, you're both reaching for the Yeet record and your hands brush. <laughs> like, wow, you like Tonkas too? <laughs> Bye.
bupper. Bupper. All right. This one's not for the faint of heart. Um, having friends and discovering music through them. Yeah, I, I don't have any advice for, for, for how to make friends, uh, especially as an, an adult. To be honest, it's very simple. You just go out and like do stuff that interests you and inevitably you will meet other people who also do those things. So easy. All right. <laughs> Y'all you ready for this one? Find your local music venues, both big, small, medium, medium, large. <laughs> That's an inside joke with my SO. Look at their past shows and especially their upcoming shows because if you end up liking one of those artists, you could, you know, get tickets to see them. And for those shows, don't just look at the headliner, look at the openers too. If you do all these things, you should have more than enough music for the rest of your life. I mean, too much music even. I have a backlog of 300 albums just for rap alone that I may never get to. I, I may be on my deathbed. And uh, to be honest, that, that number will probably be even higher by then. <laughs> if you have any methods that weren't on this list, let me know. I go by Brizza and I'll see you next time.